Yate dene hamasane nishne. I am Navajo Grandma, and I welcome you to my kitchen again. Today, we are going to make Spam potatoes and using the previous fry bread dough, we are going to make nane scotty in a pan over the stove. And then we're going to make tortillas with spam and potatoes. Very, very wonderful meal. I'm slicing the spam. I've already sliced it one way, and then I slice it again. This is a good size. They're diced pretty good. Good bite size. The first step to making the spam and potatoes, I've already placed uh, probably a tablespoon and a half or to two, two tablespoons of oil in a pan, and make sure it's kind of hot, just a little, but not over, overly hot. Now I'm going to get the potatoes, and I place the potatoes in the oil, and I'm going to stir the potatoes, and you're kind of uh, covering them with the oil. You don't need a lot of oil with this. So now that it's covered, <clears throat> I'm going to put the lid on this. And that's how I do it. And I just let it cook for a good 15, 20 minutes. Okay, this is my own trick, my own little way of making potatoes so they're soft. Once the potatoes are starting to fry, I put a little bit of water in there, and that creates a steam. If you can hear it start to boil. Then that's how I steam my potatoes. They will get fried, but this kind of could makes the process quicker. That's my little trick. Because I'm going to stir them. If you notice, they're starting to cook very quickly. That's what that steam does. And that's why I like it. You don't have to stand over this all day or for hours or you know, too long to fry your potatoes. So now the potatoes are frying, cooking, steaming, we'll just let it cook for about the next 7 to 10 minutes. Now we are going to add the Spam to our potatoes, and that was one can of Spam. Then we just mix it in, allow the potatoes and the Spam to cook. Or, or somewhat frying that it just allowed them to get all of the wonderful taste of the spam with the, with the potatoes. We will just allow this to, to, to cook, fry, whatever, for the next maybe six, five or six minutes. And then we will make a Nanes Kadi sandwich out of the potatoes and the spam. So while this is frying or cooking with the potatoes and the spam, I like to think, I mean, every time I eat this, I don't add salt and pepper. Most people do, but I don't because the spam has a lot of sodium in it as it is. 
and you can decide to have, put salt and pepper on it afterwards. But what the spam does when you cook it with the potatoes like this, and kind of the steaming, frying going on, it um, adheses that wonderful uh, taste of the spam. And it actually almost inherits the sodium in the potatoes. So it's wonderful that way. You can also add green chili, which is lovely as well, which we're not going to do today. But you can make a little sandwich out of the non escati, the Navajo tortilla, and put the chili, the potatoes, and the spam. Oh boy, is that ever delectable. My sons like to put the potatoes, the spam, and cayenne pepper. Oh my gosh, they love cayenne. And then you can add dribble a little bit of salt on there. And that's their favorite. Or you can add uh, jalapenos. And sometimes my kids will throw in cheese slices. If you're a cheese lover, as soon as you get the, the tortilla, put the cheese in, put the potatoes and the spam in, and it'll melt right in. And it's delectable as well. So just little options that you might want to take in this little simple step of the potatoes and Spam. In preparation for the Nanes Kari, this is what makes it hard for me to cook uh, in a pan. Usually you have a griddle, a really long, big, huge, round uh, griddle, but since we don't have that, and maybe you might not have a griddle, this is uh, a pan you can put the nanes kadi in. And what I do is I like to feel and kind of get a, a feel for the type of heat that you need for the nanes kadi. Because you don't want to burn it. You want it to bake. So I think it's, it's ready now and I'm going to go ahead and make a nanes kadi. Now we're making small ones because we're going to feed a few little people. And so... Um, you can make it as big as large as you want, but for right now we're just going to use this pan and I think it's ready to make the tortilla on there. When you are making tortillas on the stove, we just flip this tortilla, but notice there's some wet looking areas. And it just shows you that it's not fully cooked. But once that they, they dissipate, you know it's cooked. And it looks absolutely beautiful right now. Just a few seconds and we'll be done. So now, look how beautiful. Yummy and beautiful. That's a Navajo tortilla, Nani Scotty, made on the stove. Now we are going to serve the potatoes and spam over the Nani Scotty, which is just a small little portion like this. And you fold it up like this. Put your salt and pepper or cayenne, whatever you want. And that is the meal. Wonderful. I am going to have my grandson taste the nanis kari with the potatoes and spam and some cayenne pepper. So let's see if it tastes okay with him. Super good. Like the non escotti, it's like a perfect bread, like but it's like a super thick tortilla. It's like super good. And then the spam like adds all the flavor in and then 
the potatoes are like a little salty. It's like the perfect texture. Yeah, it's super good. Yeah, this is better than like anything. Yeah, better than a burger, I'd say. Yeah, that's my review on it. It's super good. I hope you enjoyed our video today on making Nanes Cotti and the potatoes and Spam. And please enjoy them. They're just wonderful, just tasty and delectable. Thank you again. And this is Dene Amasane, Navajo Grandma, signing off and looking forward to another video coming up soon. Thank you. Hagone.